So we're doing something different today in that I am going to do a dye for the very first time. I've never done a dye with pomegranates before, and I thought it might be fun to show you my process when I'm trying something new. Because even though I've been dying for 10, 15 years, I'm continually trying new things. And pomegranates, even though they have been used for, I don't know, I think since the Roman times, I've never used them. Wait, before what? you open that, do you want to have an apron on? So I'm going to cut up pomegranates. And I have a bunch of them because I'm not quite sure how much I need. And I froze some pomegranates, so I have already some cut up. So I should have plenty, I think. Okay, so let me open this up. Get, <laughs> get the seeds out. If pomegranates actually make a fantastic shade of yellow, then that's my perfect ideal type of dye because it's a kitchen scrap dye. Like onions or avocado seeds, you eat something and then you have that part that you would normally throw away and, and instead of throwing away, you get to use it for a dye. So I'm really hoping that this works. Now I read you can actually use the seeds in a dye and I don't know why you would ever wanna do that because they're the most delicious thing. But I guess if you don't like pomegranate seeds, then you can just throw the whole pomegranate in, they say, and use all of it. And the seeds will give that same yellow that these um, peels are gonna give. All right, I got one done. So I'm gonna weigh this and see how much more I need to go. I have just one skein today, it's four ounces. And I think, wait, let me check my book. This is my, oh, this is my go-to book, Wild Color by Jenny Dean. And she says, it's all wet now. Um, no mordant required. Well, I have alamordanted because I just always mordant. So I have alamordanted, but no mordant is required. Use at least half the weight of dye stuffs to fibers. So I technically, only need, I guess, two ounces, if I did that math correct. But I don't actually ever do what they say to do. I always do a lot more. So let's see how much this is. Five, seven eighths ounces, so six ounces. So just one pomegranate does one whole skein. That's just, that seems, I don't, that seems like, seems amazing. You'd only need one pomegranate to do. And I have, the frozen pomegranates. Oh, she says to use dry pomegranates, not frozen. So I don't know if, I don't know if I should use my foot. Okay, I'm gonna do, so I've got one, so that should be enough. I'm gonna do two. And then I might not use my frozen ones this time, just to be safe. These are gonna go right into my mouth. I have an actual pomegranate handprint on my apron now. Too bad pomegranates didn't make that color. Okay, so now I have two pomegranates that I have peeled. I'm gonna weigh again. This is sad, I feel like I'm gonna like wreck my apron with this. Sorry, apron. Um, I'm gonna weigh these. And I'm gonna be good, as in, I'm gonna thank myself later by writing down everything I'm doing today so that if it is successful, I know how to do it again next time. And if it's not successful, then I know what not to do next time. 14 ounces, oh my God. 14 ounces for four ounces of wool should be amazing. So I'm gonna add these into my pot, which has water going, I think it's it's not quite, oh, it's like almost starting to boil. So I'm just gonna add these directly in, and then it says to let these simmer for about half an hour, 45 minutes. You guys are gonna be sacrificed to the dye pot, I'm sorry. You can't all be eaten. I'm 
just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. And I'm not gonna throw the frozen in and I'm gonna write my notes. Okay, pomegranate, four ounces, alum, mordanted wool. Oh, how many ounces, how much was that? Does it remember how much it was if I turned it, if it turned off? Is it 14 ounces? I knew it was more than three. Four times three is 12. 14-ish ounces? I'm gonna say 15 ounces. And we'll see if I remember correctly. Oh yeah. Oh, it's definitely changing color. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I still wanna add more in, nope. this. No, hi puppy dog. Oh boy. Oh, it's all over the floor too. So it's been simmering for one hour and I, oh, let me write that down. I simmered it for an hour. It looks like the skins have really broken down into mush is a good word to describe it. And at this point, you're supposed to strain out the dye stuff before you add your fiber in. Um, and it's looking really mushy, and I might regret this, but I'm not going to strain, because I never strain. And sometimes I regret it, but whatever. So I'm gonna add in my fiber. It has changed a really nice, I don't know, pretty yellow, buttery yellow, orangey yellow. Um, so that's exciting. And I have my one skein. Again, it says that you don't need to mordant this. I guess that the skins have their, a lot of their own tannins in it that it kind of acts as a mordant. Um, but I used what fiber I had on hand and I had alum mordanted wool. So I'm gonna use my four ounce skein of alum, alum mordanted wool. It's kind of a mess. I'm hoping it's gonna be a really exciting aha moment for color. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, this is so exciting! Ooh! Excuse me. This is so exciting! This is, oh! Oh, man! <gasps> okay, my percentage is really high. <laughs> Over three to one which might explain why this is super amazing. This has been in for, I don't know what, 10 seconds. Oh. Because this means with like two pomegranates, I can dye a skein of yarn. So I'm supposed to leave it in the pot overnight, which I'm going to do, which I can't imagine what it's gonna look like overnight. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it overnight and I'll check on it tomorrow. I'm feeling very happy about this. This is a very exciting success story. This doesn't always happen, but it happened this time and this is very exciting. I let this sit overnight in the dye pot and I'm gonna check the results now, which is kind of exciting. Oh, this is really good. This is very good. Looks like the skein absorbed all the yellow. All the yellow of the dye bath is gone and all that is left is like this pink color that you would see on the outside of the pomegranate skin. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? This is such a, I can't believe this is the first time I've ever tried dyeing with pomegranates because this is a completely different shade of yellow than I would get from like my onion skins and stuff. This is really exciting. And I mean, I used two pomegranate skins for one skein of yarn, so I could easily dye twice as many skeins, right? I think. And there's also the possibility of using iron and doing an iron after bath and making it go green. So this is cool. This is finding like a whole brand new dye stuff to play with, which is always fun. Keeps it interesting.